Right, hiya, back again. Okay, so I now have uh, dried it all. Um, does look a lot, lot better. So now I'm just going to go over these. Uh, it does actually match the um, the uh, picture, but um, I'm just going to um, add a little bit, of, bit of pink, I think, to uh, to the centre of these porcelain flowers. Not too worried. Uh, it's just too. Uh, that's, uh, oops. Zoom in a bit for you. Because these ones look a bit dirty looking. So I'm just going to uh, just paint it. Just to brighten them up a bit. This bride's supposed to do a first dance and she's gone to bed. <laughs> it's obviously been a long day. That looks better, a bit fresher. <laughs> Because these are like porcelain flowers, they dry really quickly. Just remembering to do the uh, the undersides and not that. I'm not worried too much about them because it's not like uh, it's more me being fussy than anything else.
watch one of these Don't Tell the Bride programmes where the guy arranged for them to get married on a football pitch. Mm, don't think she was too pleased. <laughs> How many of you out there would trust your, if you get married, your other half to organise your wedding? So, do you think that looks better? I do. I think it looks loads better. At least they don't look, the flowers don't look so, well at least the white ones, anyway. I'm not too worried about the blue and the green ones. I need to find my glasses because I can't see a blooming thing. <laughs> I'm probably making the right pigs here of it. And then I can always add some stickles to these flowers. Or even um, some ship glimmer mist and then add glitter to the glimmer mist. Right, okay, what do you think? Uh, let's zoom out a bit. Mm. I don't know, do I add some more green to the green, the leaves, or a bit more blue to the blue. Uh, I don't know, let's just dry these flowers anyway.
Oopsie, missed a bit. Okay, there we go. So now I might add some glim mist to those pink -y sort of flowers. Um, I've got some really lovely, um, this is from, this is, uh, uh, what's that called? That's from, this is from, this is Razzle Bedazzle Berry. Oh no, that's that's too dark. What else have we got? Oh, this is cotton candy. This is a bit more. I'm not going to spray it directly on there yet because I want to make sure. I'm a bit worried. I don't want it to be. Uh... Oh, it's not too bad. That really did too much. <laughs> but I'm not going to keep soaking it in. Uh, what's that? Pink gumball. That's too pink. Uh, What's this? 
No, that's too, too blue. Too blue. That's too cold. That's too blue as well. This shimmery is. Actually, what I might do is. Uh, spraying it because I don't want it to go all on uh, the pink flowers. I'm going to add some of it to the blue. And that just darkens up very slightly, very subtly. Probably just in the middle of those, um, it just sort of darkens them up a little bit. Okay, so there we go. I'm still going to add some more flowers and that to it to, uh, I'm not just going to leave it like that. And what I need to do is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to glue this to that back page. Set the glue. So I'm just moving my fire around because I've got cold feet. Uh, right. 
Um, my one pet hate in crafting is cutting things out. Um, I don't actually like cutting things out. <laughs> um, I'm not quite sure how to do this. So it's a... Because that's got like leaves and things and that in it. What if I just do the bodice and her and they maybe add a bit of chore to the dress? I might just do that. Uh, because otherwise. Uh, these scissors are too big for fussy cutting. Let me just get my other scissors. Just bear with me. It was named fussy cutting for a reason because oh, I did that fussy cutting. Okay, all right. Let's just go for it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the whole thing out first. I haven't quite decided which bit of the, uh, the fairy I want. So I'm going to... Please feel free to fa fast forward me cutting this out. Um, you are under no obligation. <laughs> to, uh, the wings are quite small. I might even add some. Make some feather wings, I don't know. Um, yeah, feel free, you don't have to watch me cut that out. dress and which bit's not because it's got like a oh well let's just do it like that okay I suppose when people want to get married, they don't actually... I can't ever remember discussing the type of wedding dress I wanted with my other half. So I suppose, to be fair to him, he's going to have no clue as to uh, what type of dress she wants. So... Brave man. I like things that pop out and that don't have to be cut out. <laughs> but this is just too flat to uh, to leave it. So I'm going to um, give it a bit of a uh, oomph. Who thinks? To her.
got even fussy cut around the flower. Right, oh no, I don't want that bit, do I? So I need to trim that a little more. So, uh, okay, so what I'm going to do. I need some silicone glue. Um, so, anyway, so I'm going to stick this that I fussy cat get out here onto here. Oh, but I want to give it a bit of um, so, so it's not so flat. So, what I'm going to do. I've got a real jumbo embossing tool there. I'm just going to gently... Oh. What is that? Looks like it's got some on the bottom of it. That's no good, it'll squinch it. Let's try this one. Yep, so I'm just going to... Uh, just it, All this does is sort of breaks the fibres a little bit without um, actually ripping them so all I'm doing is going around in a circular motion I don't know if you can see in a circular motion She's bawling her eyes out, she doesn't like the dress. So. See, okay. So it hasn't done anything, but it's given it like a, a curved. So that when this goes on here, I'm going to get sort of raises it up a little bit and I'm going to put some silicone glue underneath okay um ah. silicone glue right okay is add uh, big dollops because what I want this to do I don't want this to be flat so <sighs> see look it's like big 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 generous big chunky because what I'm what what I'm after is I'm it's not um so it's flat I want it so it's gonna when this dries the silicone dries it dries hard or rubbery so it, it'll give it um Okay, 
works in that way it gives it okay more of a and when that glue dries underneath it will dry sort of like and I want that hand to be up there as if it's touching the flower there I don't want it and it's flat, not flat down but I'm not going to put silicone underneath it because if I put the silicone underneath it, it means that uh, you're going to see it so I don't want that that way it just gives it a little bit of a 3D sort of look to it. I'm just uh, there's some silicone poking out there. I'm just uh, wiping it off. There we go. Let's put this away. Okay. goes really well don't you I think the whole picture fits gorgeous so um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this to dry for the moment uh, put the lid on my silicone and then I'll be back in a minute in part two um, once I've decided um, what embellishments I want to use and I might even up put some lace around the outside of it as well just to make it very very pretty so I'll be back in part two bye